busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. Well, FEMA got in some trouble by faking a news conference when they used agency employees as stand-ins for real reporters. So what? On the network news, Democrats stand in for real reporters all the time. <laughs> Experts say Hillary Clinton's health care plan for poor people will cost a lot more than she projects, mainly because if Hillary does become president, America will have a lot more poor people. <laughs> CBS's Bob Schieffer asked Mitt Romney why he believes in Mormonism, a religion that some feel has many wacky, illogical ideas that must be taken completely on faith. Mitt said he feels the same way about the ideas of the modern Democratic Party. <laughs> People are questioning New York Governor Elliot Spitzer's plan that gives illegal aliens driver's licenses in light of the news that eight of the 9-11 hijackers were registered to vote because they too had driver's licenses. More chilling, they had registered to vote with the Jihad Party. <laughs> California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger told GQ magazine that marijuana is a leaf, not a drug. He also told them steroids aren't just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> A Middle Eastern toy manufacturer has introduced a new Barbie doll that wears authentic Muslim clothing. The doll is so authentic that when Barbie takes off her burqa, Ken stones her to death. <laughs> While commenting on lethal injections, a CNN analyst said, perhaps killing by the state is not humane at all. The analyst then suggested replacing the death penalty with being forced to watch nonstop commentary by CNN's own Jack Cafferty. <laughs> TV's dog the bounty hunter Dwayne Chapman apologized after a taped phone call in which he repeatedly used the N-word was leaked to the public. As punishment, dog will be remanded to the custody of, you guessed it, Michael Vick. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Be sure and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. We'll catch you next time.